Hello, this is AVT coming at you with a beginner's guide for the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes at the end of August 2018. I thought I would provide some helpful hints to get new players started, so if you like this guide, please like and subscribe. So here in the background, I'm just going to be showing you some footage of the Phoenix Squad in action um, playing out the Galactic War. The reason I recommend the Phoenix Squad is because they are one of the most versatile squads in Galaxy of Heroes and very easy to obtain for new players. The Phoenix Squad is fantastic for many reasons. One, they are very, very, very easy to obtain. You get two of the characters at a very, very early on Kenti nodes. One of them in Squad Arena, one of them in Galactic War, and another one comes out of Cantina Currency. These characters are so useful. They are actually pretty good in Squad Arena. I can't say that they're the best, but you can probably consistently rank within the top 500 of your shard very easily with the Phoenix Squad. The Phoenix Squad is also fantastic for Galactic War. They, with Hera's leadership, are one of the most sustained squads in Galaxy of Heroes. And clearing Galactic War is going to be a huge deal, especially early on getting all that extra currency, credits, training droids, ability mats, everything is going to be a huge help. And that is easily achievable with the Phoenix Squad. Now, there's a couple other reasons I like the Phoenix Squad. They are excellent in terms of the ships they use later in the game. You get the Ghost and the Phantom. They are both incredibly powerful, and they are piloted by the Phoenix Squad. Now how this works in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is that the characters who pilot the ships directly power the ships. So having your Phoenix Squad stronger is going to make your Ghost and Phantom stronger. This is going to help you in the late game. The Phoenix Squad is also great for another reason. They are used for two legendary events. Events. Can't talk today. Legendary events are rare events. They come around every few months for the characters you're looking for. And they're only achievable with certain squads. These characters can be used for not just one, but two. Grand Admiral Thrawn and Emperor Palpatine. Both of these are fantastic characters, and you will want them later in the game. These are the main reasons I recommend the Phoenix Squad. Now, looking farther down the road, you can decide how far you want to go with gearing these characters. To get Grand Admiral Thrawn and Emperor Palpatine, you're looking at a need of about gear level 8, maybe 9, depending on your mods. If you choose to go farther with these characters, it will be purely for use as pilots and for territory wars, which is something we'll get into in a later video but the choice is yours. You can go as far as gear level eight or nine and get everything you need to get out of them, or you can go farther and use them as pilots and as a territory war team. Now I'm just gonna let the rest of this battle play out so that you can still continue watching the Phoenix Squad. And then here in a moment, I'm going to overview where to find all of these characters so you can begin farming them yourself. So, just as a brief overview, to show you where these characters are located. Ezra, apparently after promote, is located very early on in the cantina at node 2B. Hera, also very early on in the cantina, node 1F. We've got Kanan, who's in the squad arena store. Chopper, who is not showing up right now, but is purchasable in the Cantina, or Cantina Currency, right here. And... I cannot find Zeb at the moment. Zeb, who is purchasable in the Galactic War store. 
and there you have it. The best starting squad when getting into Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So at any rate, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and feel free to check out my other videos. May the Force be with you.